I'm from Superhounds and I'm a qualified dog trainer and behaviourist and here's a puppy lesson from me. So toilet training, um, what's really important is that we get into a really good routine with our puppies. We want our puppies to go outside um, or if you're in a flat you may want them to go on puppy pads. Um, what's really important is that you watch them. So they're going to need to go to the toilet a lot. You're going to need to watch them fairly closely. The minute you see them circling or they go somewhere to sniff, get them out to go to the toilet. The other times they're going to need to go is after they've done any kind of activity or after they've done something, whether it's sleeping, eating, drinking, playing, if you've had a little training session, if you've been doing a few little sits or downs or you've been sending them to their bed, so a little bit of training, get them out because they're going to need to go to the toilet. If when you have been doing your training and they start to get a little bit distracted and you're asking them to do something that you know that they know, such as a sit and they just don't do it or they don't want to do it, get them out because it's likely they need to go to the toilet. The other times that you might struggle or you might have a few little accidents is when they're teething. Sometimes when puppies are teething, it's normal for them to have a little, few little wee accidents inside because there's so much going on in the mouth and the mouth is painful, they forget that they need to go to the toilet or they need to tell you. You could have toilet training bells on the back of a door so that every time the door opens, you ring the bell first so that the puppy understands that the sound of the bell means the door opens. Um, they've been really useful for a lot of people. Um, but it's about getting your dog navigating towards the back door, back door so that they can tell you that they need to go.